Well, good morning. It is, we just pulled out of our campsite way down there. Honey, what is a, the, hey Robert, what is this campsite again? Trenton, Trenton Lake. Lake Recreation Area. Trenton Lake Recreation. Robert's going to wash the windows before we go. We're letting the dogs out. Skeeter City. Ugh. Ah, getting ate up. This was our campsite for the night. We've packed up. We got pulled out of our campsite so that we could idle and let the dogs out before we're on our way. And today is a tourist day of Roosevelt National Park, the North Unit. Oh my gosh, we got buffalo. Wow, Robert. <laughs> I just seen them. <laughs> we, That'll wake you up. We are in Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt National Park North Unit. They're over there. And they're over there by the bluff. That was unexpected. I guess so. Within the you first mile. You scared me, Robert. You scared me. <laughs> uh-huh. Life's an adventure. It is. It's a nice, it's a nice day. Yeah, kind of hazy, cloudy-ish. Yeah. Yes. make it a short day. siesta. It is pretty. It is pretty. Yeah, I don't think that the north unit is nearly as busy as the south unit. No. It is a Saturday midday, so you'd think if it Noon were... Noon o'clock right now. Yeah, if if it were to be busy, you'd think there would be more traffic. It was pretty congested on the south unit. Yeah. Well, First we stopped stop. at, what is this place? I don't Cannon, I have a clue. Cannonball. Something to do cannonball stuff. Something. It's a interesting land formations. Rock formations. Okay, rock formations. 
we'll go over here and look at the sign. But at the, those rounded rocks is what we came to see. Oh, this talks about Buckhorn Trail. And tick season has arrived. About time. Thought it'd never get here. All right. Over here is where we're going to be talking about these little rock formations. I guess they're kind of big. It is pretty. Cannonball mystery. The large round rocks littering the ground and protruding from the butte are bizarre. They don't seem to fit with the rest of the landscape. Where did they come from? These cannonballs were not carried here or by flowing water or glaciers. Instead, they formed within the sediment layers of the Badlands. Now, erosion is slowly exposing these buried treasures. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Kind of reminds me of the petrified forest. A little bit, yeah. Or the painted desert. Pretty sandy. But here are some of these rocks. Well, that's unique. Isn't it? You having fun yet? I guess so. Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. Why'd you bark? Were you protecting? Or do you need to go potty? We'll just sit out here with you for a little bit. And look at the pretty sights. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Long X Trail. That's an old cow brand. Is it? Burning the Long X brand. Is that a song? Or yeah, it's Don Edwards had that in his lyrics. A uh, little bit of music trivia. Huh? Yeah. Don Edwards ain't alive no more either. This is a nice scenic overlook. Yeah. Let's stop, take pictures, and take care of Miss Lucy. How's that sound? Sounds just fine. I'm going to leave it right now. At the end of the road. Of Buffalo? Yeah. I know It is. You gonna zoom in?
walk into Riverbend Overlook. Mm -hmm. Just a short distance off uh, from the parking lot. Good morning. Good morning. That's the sound that we hear. Every time. Buffalo coming through camp. And there's a baby. We might need to put the dogs away if they get a little closer. I think... You need the other? If those buffalo get closer, Oscar, I'm gonna put you inside. Yes. What you doing this morning? Ham radio, Ham radio. charging? It's charging computers. Watching the buffalo. Well, we heard something that looked, sounded like somebody snoring really big. Not really. It's the buffalo. Got a mess going on here. Good evening, Robert. Mm. Having dinner, steak. We had quite the setup today. It was a mess. <laughs> you were doing a whole bunch of um, poda contacts, yeah. experimenting with um, poles. But there's your actual antenna right there. But you closed down your radio. Dogs are eating. We. I am eight up. I know you are too. This was my uh, office for the day. Uh, had the fan right next to me to try to blow the bugs away. And it's pretty warm. 90-ish. Yeah. I had shorts on and then I had to put leggings on because I was getting eat up. Hmm. I think I'm ready to eat. Eat it before I do. Alrighty. We're kind of making a round around the campground. Juniper Campground in Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Sure. North unit. And here is the river. Oh, look at that view. Yeah. It's kind of hazy because of Fires, fires in of Montana. Fires in Montana, I thought in Canada. Could be both. Away. Tucked away in our little camp. It was nice, a couple of days, except for the bugs. <laughs> it really got us. I utilized the Helio just to wash my hair, kind of enjoy. There's where the bathroom, that's brand new building. Brand. Very, very nice facilities. Oh, toodaloo!
There's Oscar. We are in Saco, Montana. Or Saco. I'm going to call it Saco. S A C O. Saco. Lots and lots and lots. Lots of bugs, but right next to the water, of course, Nelson Reservoir. Uh, busy day yesterday, driving 105 degrees out. Uh, Williston, North Dakota to Saco, I'm going to say. Saco, Saco, Sleeping Bear, Montana. But it's about 6.15 in the morning. And we're about ready to head west even more. Y'all? What are you doing? Having lunch. You've got quite the setup there. Got uh, a poda lunch going on, Parks on the Air, at Bear Paw. Battlefield. Battlefield, I do believe. And I'm getting the signals out, yeah. Let's see. In Montana. It's never been activated before. So we're a little bit off the beaten track. We are 16 miles south of Chinook, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Chinook. That's what it's called. Well, I'm going to get a lay of the land But I'm here. also eating lunch, too, so it's a lunch poda. Well, because your wonderful wife mm. you know, yeah. fixed you a sandwich. There is Lucy and Oscar. Tucker wanted back inside. This is an unmanned national monument. It says there's a ranger station, but I'm not sure where that would be. The bathrooms are still closed for the winter season. I just don't think that they maintain it as much um, because it is pretty remote. I'll get a, a shot of you from this angle. Uh -huh. Your computer, your whole setup, there's your radio. Mm -hmm. Using your, that antenna. The Tar Heel. Yeah. After we're done eating and taking a drive break, we're going to go up that hill and look at the little monuments. There is a trail. We'll take a gander at all of that. Well, did you have a success? I did. Successful activation. So what was that? How many did you get? 24 total, 23 unique, which means I had a duplicate in there somewhere. So what does POTA stand for? Parks on the air. And what do you do? Uh, you go to a recreation place, a wildlife refuge, a uh, national park, set up your radio, make contacts, Got to get at least 10 
uh, have a successful activation. And you but were the first one on this one. Nobody has activated this one, so I did it from inside of Clifford. Yay! Chief Joseph Battleground, designated National Historic Landmark. October 5th, 1877, the surrender of Chief Joseph to Colonel Nelson. There's a trail down there. I don't believe we're gonna walk it today. Nez Pierce National Historic Park. Oh. down here just a little while ago and that's where we had lunch and Robert did his parks on the air and it's a pretty remote monument here in Montana. Oscar. It's a bit windy, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit windy. Oh my, it's a bit windy. We are at Lake Elwell. Uh, Willow Creek Recreation Area. Outside of Chester, Montana. But it's a tad bit windy. We are the only ones here. Free camping. But Oscar, he sees why. It's ridiculous out there, isn't it? Let me see. And some butterscotch beer over in the back. There's Gala. <laughs> Whoa. It's a little windy. It's a bit windy. And there's Tucker. Take two. <laughs> good morning. Yes, good morning. We are just now leaving where? Lake Elwell. 
And our mission? Willow Creek Willow? Recreation Area. Okay. I need to write that down. Where are we going? Towards Bowman Lake. Pole Bridge, Montana area. This has been a, a pretty good couple of days. It windy. was windy it was as windy. all get out on Thursday. Subsided a little bit on Friday, but that was a work day. We stayed inside most of the day. And, and now it's Saturday and we're gonna- 7.19 in the morning. Kinda travel. Straight in front of us. It's Canada. Yeah. By about how many miles? 40 mm, uh, 35, 40. There's a big old hill up there. That may be in Canada. Yeah. Coming up on Highway 2. I am glad that we were able to find cooler weather. Oh, it was 52 degrees inside Clifford this morning. Yes. Inside. Just a couple of days ago. It was 108. Yes. <laughs> so. That's a 54, 56 degree temperature difference. It makes our temperament a lot better. Temperament and temperatures, yes. Yes. 